Okay, I gotta show you guys something. Um, sorry for the noise. Uh, these two pieces right here are part of the, uh, uh, we can call it basically a pressure plate for those of us that are, let's bring that back a little bit, those of us that are car gear heads. And there's a little white mark right here. I don't know if you guys can see that white mark there. And then there's one on here right there. That mark basically from the factory is indicating that that's the heavy part of this piece. You don't want to line those up close to each other because if you do, then it's gonna create oscillating vibration. So you wanna to try to get those, the manual says uh, 120 degrees apart. Um, or basically opposite from each other. So when we put assemble this together, we're gonna to want to assemble it so that the white marks are uh, not in line with each other. I've got one here on one here on this piece. Sorry, the other one here is about 180 degrees out. So I'm hoping that that'll balance it uh, so that we don't have a vibration problem. So essentially, this uh, disc here goes in with the stub going out like that um, and you basically have these little pins part of the pressure plate slides over and then the disc goes you see that struggle with that one there we go and then we're gonna have to sort of line this up a little bit when we go to bolt it all up I put that disc in backwards too. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. They go together like that. This hub is supposed to be coming out this way. I'll flip it around. Make sure your marks are on opposites of each other. And then uh, this baby goes in, followed by this. And, oh, excuse me. This way. And it bolts up to the flywheel. Step 429. <laughs> Um, okay, we've got the clutch back on. Uh, we've got the weighted parts of the two parts of the friction plate on opposite sides of each other to balance each other. You can see we've got the extended hub that will go on to the tranny input shaft better. Um, all the appropriate places have been lubricated with the exception of now we're going to lube the input spline of this with People have asked me what I'm using, and I am using a product by Guard Dog GD570 Molly Paste. After all the reading I've done, people that have used everything that uh, I've been able to find have preferred to use that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use that to loop the input splines of the clutch hub and the input shaft to the transmission and then I've got these little homemade deals here whoa I'm tipping over dudes uh, basically they're just guide bolts I've cut the head off put a slot in it so you can get it out with a screwdriver and essentially those are gonna go probably here I'll take all these out of course I'll put those in so that when I slide the transmission on I won't be fighting and bending crap because there's a rod that goes right in here to release the pressure plate. And so I've got to uh, make sure and not dink stuff up. So I got one of those for each side there. And I'm gonna be wrestling this transmission in about probably five minutes. So hopefully next time you, uh, the next frame you see here will be a transmission in here. If not, there'll be all kinds of bad words See how it goes.